When you open Fusion 360, it'll automatically populate an untitled new document. You can see that up here. So first we want to start with the design workspace. So you can see that there. Go to Sheet Metal. Now we're going to insert, insert DXF. We want to select the bottom plane. So we'll click on that. If you look over here to the top right, you'll see a little uh, diagram of the orientation. So we selected the bottom. Now we want to come here and click on the file, and select file, for the DXF file. Click open. It might take it a second to appear. We want to ensure that the units is inch. Click OK. Now in sheet metal, we're going to click on create. We're going to click on flange. And that'll open this up here to the right. You'll click on the item that you want to make. A solid. Now you can see our solid. So now we want to uh, go to Manufacturer Workspace and go to Fabrication and click on Cutting 2D Profile. Over here at Tool, we want to click on that, select. And then up here, we want to click, uh, type in plasma. And then uh, sample profile tools inch, click on plasma cutter. Select. And now we want to click on and select our contour. Here are the other settings, but all the other, but all the settings should be correct automatically, just in case. And then we click OK. You can see our tool path. And if you'd like, we can simulate it. Come down here to the bottom, click play. You can see the end where it begins. And this is the actual real time. Looks good. Click close. Now we want to Go to post process. I'm going to select my cloud post. Uh, the cloud post uh, should be something you already uh, uploaded. So we want to go to Bailey Plaza. Click OK. Now we can save our CNC file. If we rename it, something unique. save and that file typically is I save that on the USB that way it can be directly used by the plasma cutter and the next thing you want to make sure you do is you actually want to save your file in Fusion 360 uh, and save and then rename it we'll get the location, save. 